Pum? Pumpkin. Where's Pumpkin? When we got Pumpkin, we knew that she didn't walk upstairs. The houses that she'd been exposed to either didn't have stairs or, you know, it was just something that she never had to use. A little bit, Pumpkin. Come Heidi went three steps up and held a treat out for Pumpkin, and Pumpkin tried to lean forward to get that treat, but there was no way she was going to put even one little paw on the first step. She's stretching out, you know, stretching out to see if she can get it, but she can't. You're right. I think that Pumpkin is afraid of steps because she hasn't really had any experience with steps and how to go up or down them. Plus, I also think that she feels very unsettled because she slips on the shiny floors. Victoria's theory is proven right when she sees Pumpkin's uneasiness on the wood floor upstairs. It's okay. I know, it's okay. Come on, Pump. You can see she's shaking. Mm. See that? She's really shaking. Pumpkin just stood there and started to shake. It was really upsetting to see a dog so anxious and so uncomfortable about being on a wooden floor. Pumpkin, it's OK, sweetie. Could you give me that pillow that's up on there, mm -hmm. just the pillow part? So if I was to put something next door, next, Jixi, if I was to put something next to her, she would go on that, wouldn't she? Yeah, to she's get gonna off feel, it. she's gonna feel a lot better. She stopped shaking. Immediately, you're Immediately. right. Immediately. If we were to leave the room right now, Pumpkin would be left stranded there for the rest of the day. She wouldn't move. Okay. Little Pumpkin, she can't walk on the floors. Right. All of your house is basically wooden floors. This poor little dog is terrified in your own home. Come on. Pumpkin. Now she wants to increase the dog's independence, starting with Pumpkin on the stairs. I did not want to train on the main stairs because there are too many of them. They're extremely intimidating, especially for a little dog. In order to train Pumpkin to be okay on stairs, I created four steps. And on those four steps, I put carpet. So I want her to feel confident about going upstairs with carpet on before we start training her without carpet on. One good girl. And what I'm doing. Victoria is... gently coaxes Pumpkin oh, onto the first step yeah. using yeah. treats. Does she sort of have to do it on her own time and yeah. on her own? I'm not forcing her. Once Pumpkin braves the second step, Victoria moves the treat a little higher. It's all about giving your dog confidence. And then even higher. Very good. good girl. Very good. Yay, Pumpkin. Very good. Pumpkin really was excited. Her tail was wagging. And she was happy. She had no problems doing it. With Pumpkin becoming more sure-footed, Heidi and Bridget take turns. Good girl. This is a big deal for her, you know. Good girl, Pumpkin. Good girl. With Pumpkin gaining confidence, Victoria takes the training a step further. But that small change makes a huge difference for Pumpkin. You can, you can see even just removing the carpet from the stairs, how this is a different deal. I very quickly found out that Pumpkin was not going to go up the wooden stairs. With the carpet removed, she couldn't deal with it. To ease Pumpkin's frustration, Victoria decides to meet her halfway with partially covered stairs. You don't want to get to the stage where the dog actually just gives up. They learn actually not to do it. Good girl. Good. Oh, yeah. There. For Pumpkin to get up those stairs with just a strip of carpet on them to feel wood under her front paws and carpet on her back paws, that was enough for me. Very good. <laughs> good, girl. good girl. Good girl. If Pumpkin can have the mobility to go up, and around the house without the use of me or Bridget. It's going to be amazing. Now, she wants to address the dog's biggest phobia. Pumpkin obviously has this fear of being on these floors. I have these mats. And I'm going to put a mat so that one runs into the kitchen, and then I'm going to place mats in areas all around the kitchen. So that's going to be her little pathway. Pumpkin can walk on the wooden floors around the rugs in the living room because she knows that the rugs are close. So I wanted to use the same idea for the kitchen. She normally comes to just about here, mm -hmm. so I'm going to break that line. Sure enough, as soon as the mats go down, Pumpkin ventures in. Just sort of here. So I'm going to throw 
bits of food onto the different mats. Good girl. So she has to walk across the wooden floor to get it. Go find. And I'm asking her to go find because that's part of the game. I mean, there's not a hesitation. Not one hesitation. Pumpkin did great in the kitchen. She was trotting from carpet to carpet, going for the treats, not really noticing, I think, that the, that the wood floor was underneath her. As Pumpkin's confidence grows, Victoria starts to remove the mats. Now she's on the floor, just on the floor. Go find it. Good girl. But as the mats disappear... This is kind of her threshold. Yeah. This is what's really difficult for her. Yeah. So does Pumpkin's courage. Uh, there was some hesitation, but the way Victoria explained it is that, you know, that will happen until she's more comfortable. Good girl. Goes back to find her mat and her stability. Good girl. Heidi was impressed to see Pumpkin just walking around the kitchen. What a difference from the time I observed her to now. Watch me. Having made great progress training Heidi and Bridget's three neurotic Maltese, Victoria's left the girls to work on their own. I'm so proud of Pumpkin. I feel like she's a million miles away from where she was when Victoria first arrived. Good girl! That was amazing. Come on, let's go. Now she's just comfortable to walk around the wood floors knowing that there's a mat nearby. OK, you want to practice? You want to practice? The girls have also been working together to ease Pumpkin's aversion to the stairs. Go get it. Good job. Beautiful. That was amazing, that Pumpkin. That was very fluid. Yes. Pumpkin's confidence seems to improve with every step, but Heidi's controlling habits are only getting worse. That is tiny. Put it in the far corner. I want to do Don't tell me where to put it. Heidi has definitely tried to, to pull the boss card, but I've had to keep it in check. Turn them up smaller. Heidi, when I put it there, you were like, it's too no, small. No, no, look, I'm saying like that. Yeah, like that, and then like you that were playing with too small. No. Yes, you were. When I put it there, you're like, she Well, I'm just saying, it. I don't want her to get sick. It's like, it's too small, it's too big. Like, that's too big. Mm -mm. <sighs> Maybe put it more in the middle. She seemed to be a little hesitant on that side. Then you do it. All right. <laughs> Heidi, I thought you were going to allow Bridget to step up and do more of the training. You need to back off and give her some more space. Pumpkin has made such progress. She's now walking into the kitchen on the wood floors, no problem. She's going up the stairs that I made her, no problem. Now it's time to take it to the real stairs. I've chosen these stairs because there's only five of them. Victoria places a mat on the landing and strips of carpet on the stairs for added traction. Then she entices Pumpkin step oh, by step. Girl. Oh, she's so good. Yes, she is. Very good. I'm going to talk to her in a very high little tone. Oh, good girl. Lovely. We put it up there. Good. Very nice. Very nice. I put a bit of food on the first stair. She put her two front paws up on it and ate the food. Good result. With her front paws up, Victoria provides the last little boost. Yes! <laughs> I was floored when I saw Pumpkin run up those stairs. She has never, in the year that she has been here, attempted, tried anything close to what she went, what she did today. Let me try that again. Good. Good. Yes, Pumpkin. Pumpkin. My heart was racing. I was so excited for her, and I was so proud of the job that the Pumpkin did. Good girl. Very good.